not start in England with Sir Isaac Newton. It did not start in Germany with Gottfried Leibniz. It did not start in India with Brahma Gupta. And it did not start with Archimedes in Greece. So, you may be wondering, from whom did it start? It started from Democritus. Who was Democritus? Democritus was the first person to discover calculus. And I'll show you how. He was the one who discovered the atom. He took an apple in front of a crowd. And he sliced and diced it all until he reached its core. And couldn't divide it, slice it anymore with a knife. He called this little tiny indivisible piece an atom. He applied this, in, this concept of indivisibility to geometry. This is where math and physics connect. Uh, learning something in math can sometimes help you to learn something in physics, and sometimes they come together. Anyways, uh, when he applied uh, this, uh, this um, thing of indivisibility, this concept, to geometry, he saw something very simple yet very revolutionary. He applied this to pyramids, of course. So a pyramid, take a pyramid with a regular square base. But first, let us look at our regular everyday polygons. Square, pentagon, hexagon, septagon, octagon. But have you noticed as uh, these progress, these uh, polygons progress, and they get more sidey, they have more sides, they, uh, they tend to look more and more like a circle? Doing so, he gave birth to infinitesimals, which led to limits, which was the start of calculus. Subscribe to Bari Science Lab to fall in love with math and science, especially programming.